you know, I wanted to start off with a stream of edge jokes, but I don't think I'm sharp enough for that. <laughs> um... <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> My name is Matt Omega. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play Submachine. This time, we're tackling Submachine 6, The Edge. Although, while I'm tackling this game, I hope it doesn't slice me to pieces. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> right, let's jump right into it. But we are picking up right where we left off at the end of Submachine 5. We are being carried along by this... ...thing. Off to, uh, off to, well, the edge. The edge of what? The edge of the subnet, supposedly. The, uh, network of, uh, submachines. As I believe I mentioned last time. But, uh, there seems to be some protocol shenanigans going on here, and... Yeah, I do seem to be, uh... do seem to be being intercepted. Oh, nothing I can do now. Alright, what's going on? Well, at least they're giving me a chair. <laughs> anyway. With this lovely little cinematic here. Welcome to the edge. Which got some... Beefy security! Apparently. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Oh. Alright. Oh. Well, this one's not exactly the clearest thing in the world, but what the game wants you to do is actually just deposit all your stuff into what I can only assume is a trash bin. Goodbye, notepad. You'll be missed. Because I'll never get a notepad like you for the rest of the series. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Your personal identification number. Um... 27. 2... 7. That's not 7, that's 9. Fuck. <laughs> um... That one. Yep, didn't think so. <laughs> well, out we go. And I'm pretty sure it just kicked us out into some cliffs. Well, thank you. I, uh, I appreciate all that. Anyway, let's have a look around at least. Now, this almost looks like it'd be a portal, but it's clearly very old and broken down. Well. Are we going to be digging through more sewers? Well, that's it. I see no point in holding on any longer. No one's coming. I've been a fool all the time. Pointless. Uh... Um... Look on the bright side, buddy. It'd, it'd probably be the smart thing to do. I mean, I don't know what that bright side is, but when you find it, you should look on it. <laughs> Not nothing over here, so... We are going to be digging through more sewers, aren't we? Well, at least there doesn't seem to be any sewer to actually swing through or anything, so I guess that's a good sign. Did he tell you that you were the first one he sent out here? Well, newsflash, my friend. Uh, I'm not. Well, to be fair, he had like four teams being sent back everywhere. We're talking about Mer, right? <laughs> Anyway, the sun's been camping out in here. Do not mess with the protocols. If you do, they'll lock you up inside. I've seen that happening before. That's not a good way to die out here. You see, the last time I was threatened with death, I was going to die by dehydration in the loop. So, uh, I'd like to avoid dying. <laughs> anyway, I've had enough. I'm not going in there anymore. I guess in that case, it'd be a smart move. Unfortunately, I'm not smart. <laughs> I got a key card. It's over here. Hmm. We got a thing. We can click on. 
Although to actually give context, I should probably go down this way. And show that we are being blocked off. Which is precisely why we want to push this forward. Which will uh, give us another pipe to crawl through. So what's going on around here? Right, so turning that, uh, what well, looks like a wheel on a pirate ship, switches the hatches here. Well, crud. <laughs> Don't believe in his lies. This just keeps getting creepier and creepier. Although this doesn't quite beat the notes at the start of the loop. <laughs> Anyway, open up the way for us. Both. What is an inscription of an Egyptian god doing here? There's even hieroglyphs everywhere. Huh. What does this do? That's a lot of cracks on this wall now. Whoa. Well, yeah, let's, uh, let's turn that back. <laughs> All right, good. I'm not breaking things. Or at least when I break things, I can fix them. <laughs> All right, nothing else for, nothing for us to do over there. So I may as well go this way now. Got a couple of wheels here and a ladder, which we're being blocked from the passage from. So, yes. so we need to try and spin these wheels so that the lights are both facing the same way. That way we can crawl up whichever pipe that uh, correlates with, press this button, and open up the grates. And the easiest way to do that is to just click one then click the other because as you can see, um, the one you click moves one, the other one moves two. Keep doing it like that, and you'll just kind of cycle around. Now, it's not a, immediately apparent, but you can actually get something from having both of them face the bottom. Go back this way. This is now upside down. Yeah, we can't go anywhere in this pipe. If we go down here, we found a secret area. And these are pretty much what the secrets amount to in this game. Just secret areas. I was sent here by Murta. Of course, who else? My objective was to disable the defense system so the invasion could reach the core of the subnet. I know that I wasn't the first one sent out here. I know there were at least five people before me. And as hard as it might be to hear, you have to hear this. Just as I wasn't the first here, you probably won't be the last. Seems to me like things are getting awfully, uh, heavy. An invasion to reach the core of the subnet. Huh. I'll have to look into that. But there's nothing real else for us to do, so I may as well just keep... Keep on keeping on, really. Alright. Now that we've... Uh, retracted the grates on both sides, we can finally climb up this way. Oh, we got over here. Some kind of little panel with a little pattern on it. And this pipe, uh, we blocked off again. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, oh, somewhere for us to use our key card. The first, exploring, because why not? Damn! <laughs> All right, progression it is. An elevator. Move on up. Hmm. Up. Oh, I don't want to run into that. What's worse, those or the spikes? You know, from the last game. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Hmm, nothing else for us here. Oh, there's a little panel here. Security level. Let's just turn all that off. <laughs> anyway, by doing that, go down to the second level here. And uh, the uh, zappy zaps are gone. Cube! Mine. <laughs> Steel cube. There's something inside. Now, this is another thing asking us for our personal ID. 
With this thing, you actually want to enter the pattern you saw on the little panel outside over to the left of the elevator. It's always the same every time, just uh, turn this inner ring of the squares to... Well, not inner ring of squares, what am I saying? <laughs> turn all those to ones. It's the same every time. And with that, they're going to go down because uh, there's actually nothing else for to, to do in here for the time being. So we actually do want to go back outside. I may as well do this now. Since we've done that, we've actually retracted the grates here. And found another secret area. I never thought that playing in Murtar's game would lead me here. I never thought I'd have to make a choice. I was just following his orders. Right now, it's too late for me to change sides. For you as well, probably. But if you have a chance, find Liz. She will guide you. If he's the explorer, she's the solver. Now, that's someone we haven't heard from in a while. This Liz, we can assume, refers to Elizabeth, who's apparently an acquaintance of Merz. Because remember, we found uh, a note being written to an Elizabeth back in Sun Machine 2, in that, uh, in that room down the sewers. So maybe she has something to do with this as well. And... If, uh, if Murtar turns out to be the bad guy, looks like Liz may be the good. Hmm, not too sure what to think at the moment, but for the time being, what we want to do with this steel cube is we want to take it to, um, we want to take it to Thoth. <laughs> He'll know what to do with it. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, actually we'll be doing something with it. Try the steel cube on this pedestal here. Turn the wheel. Alright. And that cube got very old and rusty very fast, so... Um, if for some reason you didn't think that we were actually turning back t or turning forward time in this room, then now you know. I didn't do it. <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's fix everything. <laughs> There we go. We got a connection pod. Alright. And uh, what we want to do is flip this back over before you leave. We won't have to come back here at all, but just flip it over. Now, unless you're going for secret areas, there's no reason for you to go back outside. But uh, I'm going to do so. Because there are two that we can access now. The first is over here. This corner was completely ruined before, but now that we've actually flipped over the uh, turnstile in the time room, we unlock a secret area just around the corner. Hey, Thoth. How you doing, buddy? Ah, God, I love Egyptian mythology. <laughs> and if we go back over this way, now I'm kind of skipping ahead a bit on what this connection pod actually does, and I'll get into it in a sec, but we're going to use to connect to this what looks like a rundown portal. And for that, we get another secret area. Portal... It is the portal. Portal unoperational. Assistance needed. Alright, more information. Portal prototype developed for transportation of maintenance units between different sections of the subnet. The prototype came into contact with human factor and was reverse engineered in order to transport humans. Primary function deleted. As a main factor in the infestation spread, the portal was considered a failure. Infestation. I wonder if that's his... Yeah. <laughs> I lost the ability to speak again. I wonder if this has anything to do with the fact that it came into contact with humans and was reverse engineered. Uh. Things are starting to look worse and worse the more we go along. Well, anyway, I'm going the wrong way. But now that we have this connection pod, we can actually do more stuff inside. Uh, this is, it was not the floor I wanted to come back to. <laughs> Up to the third floor. And at the very end here, we got this thing. Now I'll actually go into the fact that, um, when you find, uh, these little, these kind of holes in the wall, these are like little, these are little terminals, basically. And we use these connection pods to interface with them. Or hack into them. One or the other. <laughs> uh, maintenance security door level 5. 
Level 5, level 1. Alright, let's, uh, let's turn all that off. And if we go back down a level... This door's open for us. Blinking lights! Alright, go the connection pod in there. And security door 8, level 2. Alright, so let's open that one up. Up this way. Blinking lights. <laughs> Alright, let's back up to the top floor. Go through door 8. That says 4. Not sure if inconsistency. <laughs> Alright, throw the connection pod in there. Incoming message from blocked. Oh dear. Spam mail. Welcome pattern unrecognized. Tag outside. X infested. Infested. That's the second time we've heard something of uh, infestations. Protocol 54-2. Block and quarantine. Alrighty. Alright. Well, we may need to find a way to extend this because that might lead to something. Maybe it's over here. Elevator graph access denied protocol 54-3. Alright. Chuck that off. Come back over this way. And that's open. Because uh, we opened the passage to gates uh, 3 slash 18, which I probably should have brought up. Whoops. <laughs> now we've got all the protocols. Let's disable every last one of them. <laughs> And the message was from Murta. All right. I don't know if this message reaches anyone or just bounces off the defense system firewall, but if there's the slightest chance, then I must take it. I need you to disable the following protocols. 2-18, secondary DS, 1-12, primary DS, and 1-0, mainframe. This may have something to do with those uh, defense systems we heard about in... Actually, the secret area of the last game. <laughs> right. But, because we uh, disabled every single one of those protocols, we disabled a certain one that allows us to do something a little special out here. Disabling protocol 54-4 actually has another path up here for us with another secret area. Subnet infestation map. Oh. So... All these dots here are where this uh, infestation has spread. Which I'm starting to think has more and more to do with human contact, considering how the subnets linked together by portals, and the portals were reverse engineered by humans so that they could travel around it. Hmm. Anyway, so we've got the C here, which I can assume stands for core. This ring around here is the edge. So we're somewhere along this, uh, somewhere along this circumference. Question is, were we on the inside or the outside? Good question. Anyway. Go back to the end here. Up this way. We can now interface with the elevator. And bring that down to us. And there it is. Right. Go up a level. And get with the hacking. 512 turret online. Huh. So they actually have turrets in place. So there is a defense system. Is it defending from this infestation? Which, uh, just makes things a bit darker if I'm right about this infestation being humans. Armed. Let's disarm it. And turn it offline. So that should take care of the turrets. That looks like where we came in. Right. Hacking over here. Secondary DS offline. Tart 512 offline. Oh, secondary DS is online. 
Tart reset required. Alright. I think it was 2 18 we need to take out. Alright. Reset. Uh, no. <laughs> Cancel. <laughs> yeah. So, that starts uh, resetting the code for the um, defense system. Cancel right in the middle of it, we cause an error. And, uh, yeah. We've, uh, we, and we fucked over their defenses. I'm not too sure at this point if that's actually a good thing. Anyway, nothing over here. This looks like they would have been zappy zaps. <laughs> this looks important. Right, let's hack in. Ah, the mainframe. Well, here we go. Damn. Clicking on the middle one here will actually switch around this. This is actually a path that uh, we go along. We go back this way, we actually exit back out, I believe. Or not. Oh, no. There's files here. Outbreak patterns. Hmm. Huh. Oh! I just noticed that! <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 0, F, and 7's grayed out because it's not... hasn't been made yet. This is referring to the games. <laughs> By this point, we had 1 through 6, and... Two spin-offs had been made by this point. Zero and F, which stands for Future Loop Foundation. I'll get into both of those at some point, but... Yeah, I never noticed that! That's really cool! <laughs> I actually thought that one took you back out, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, I'll grab for this one. Uh, this is just like those uh, mechanical arms back in the uh, lighthouse. you got to get them to match up by moving your mouse around and try to line them up. you just got to kind of feel it out. We can connect both paths here to be able to access whatever's up there, so... 8115. Let's open that gate. Chuck that off. Now, we should be able to progress forward. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Recall 135. That was easy. Alright, so we can't go... So this is the Protocol 1-0 gate, so this is where we disable the mainframe. But we can't do that while the primary defense system is online. Which is this one, 1-12. So we need to... Um, take out three other protocols first, which is these three. Could you make that any easier? <laughs> this one's kind of neat. You actually drag the nodes around for this one. There we go. You just kind of have to get it in the ballpark. <laughs> Alright, now the gate's open. Human recognition pattern. This is the primary defense system. So, basically, the edge is defending against humans. Again, this just gets worse and worse as I go. This defense system was set up to deter human contact. And I'm here fucking it all up on Murtar's behalf. I have a really bad feeling about this. But here's the mainframe. We've already come this far, may as well finish it. Hello? Uh, hi. I can't believe it. You managed to disable the defense systems of the subnet. Yep. Now you can travel freely throughout the net. We can finally invade the core of the submachine. Unfortunately for you, your adventure ends here. Goodbye. So, remember what I said before about if Burr turns out to be the bad guy? Uh-oh. 
Alright, we need to find a way out of here. Give me back my hacking unit. Shutting off the mainframe shut off the power as well, so we can't use the elevator, so we need to find another way out. Who's up for crawling through more pipes? I know I am. I really want out. Here we are. Alright, seem to be, well, outside at least. Hey, a working portal. Oh, no time at the present. Let's just get the hell out of here. Alright. We found five out of five secret locations. And uh, finding them was in and of itself its own reward, so we don't get anything else for that. But yeah, that was Sub Machine 6 The Edge. Things are starting to get very, very interesting. And, uh, needless to say, shit's going down. And it's not pretty. Speaking of pretty, I'm very much looking forward to the next one, though. Because next time, we're going to be playing what I've long considered to be my favorite in the Sun Machine series, Sun Machine 7, The Core. But, in any case... As always, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, guys, my name's Matt Omega, and I'll see you guys later.